hand does not have the same kind of arch that the foot has. Right? I think I said it in the, in the foot class that we don't, the hand doesn't have that spiral in it where the back of the foot is perpendicular and the front of the foot is flat. It doesn't happen in the hand. It's going to happen when we add the forearm in. So the support for the hand comes from a different kind of action. And it's not going to have built in the same big twist, the same big spiral. But we have these other ways we can find it. So in our foot, this articulation across here is what lets us take the back of the foot down and the front of the foot down. It's what lets us find partly the spiral through the foot and accommodate all this kind of movement. We can't do that in our hand. If you don't move your wrist bones, if you hold your wrist still, fingers move, but you can't pronate and supinate your hand. Like the bones of my foot move here. These bones move. In my hand, they don't do that. Fingers move a lot. But the hands themselves don't. We don't get that movement until we move up into the bones of the forearm in the upper limb. So in a way, the hands are not as adaptable as the feet in some ways. They're not adaptable um, in the same way to changing surface area, kind of. But when we add the foreleg and the forearm in, the forearm is much more adaptable than the foreleg is. So we see this trade-off happen, that we get all this articulation in our fingers. We have more movement in our fingers than we have in our toes. Like I can do this with my thumb and my little finger, and it can't, it, it's just not going to happen right, in my toes. So the middle of my foot has bigger bones, but they are also movable in a way that these long bones in my fingers are more movable, but this part of my wrist doesn't have the same twisting capability. This is actually less movable than these bones. But then when we get up to the forearm and the foreleg, our forearms are really movable. And the foreleg moves a little bit, but not so much. So there are ways in which they're very similar, and there are ways in which they have really developed, evolved to do quite different things.